I now I've understood the concept what is a ligand so I clearly explained you that concept now let's come back and go into the depth of the topic now so what is density of a ligand so in the exam if they ask you how do they ask you in the exam they'll give you an example <coughs> of a ligand and then ask you find the density of the ligand so basically first let us define the density density if I say it is the number of coordinating site okay what have i written now let us stick with an example coordinating sites of ligands that means if i have a ligand like this it's called density if i have a ligand like this now nh3 is a neutral ligand from how many sites can it attach to the metal atom like not like this suppose if i say okay this is a metal atom so how many sites is it this has lone pair of electron there's only one site isn't it so here it has lone pair and it will donate that electron to metal atom because it has a vacant orbital so this particular lone pair so the density of this is one only one site of attack means one site to which it is attaching to the metal atom suppose if i take ph3 suppose it's donating to the metal again the same thing only one site so density is one suppose if i have an example like this nh2 <coughs> ch2 ch2 nh2 now this has a lone pair of electrons. let us write like this better because nitrogen has lone pair isn't it so let us write nh2 like this this is better so how many sites from how many sites is attacking it's attacking from two sites isn't it so the density here this is your metal atom again this is your metal atom so the density is two right so how many of our sites it's going to attack from how many of our sites it's going to attack it we call it as that is a density now based on this concept your uh, your uh, attacking site the ligands are classified on they come under three categories first category is class 1 type of ligands second category is class 2 type of ligands third category is class 3 type of ligands okay what is class 1 here we are going to classify the ligands based on the binding sites now see here i have shown one site here i have shown two sites so i'll be going to the depth of this class 1 classification based on binding site that is nothing but density binding sites so again they are divided into mono dentate so dentate density right mono dentate ligand bidentate ligand and polydentate ligand so this is going to link by one site this is going to link by two sites this is going to link by more than one site right poly yes polydentate ligand done so let us come back and see the next category that is class 2 in class 2 compounds here i'm going to classify the ligands based on charge i'll show you certain examples also based on charge we'll be doing that and further when i come to class 3 ligands here <coughs> we are going to uh, uh, see or classify the ligands based on their attacking site which atom it's attacking right <coughs> so uh, like you know uh, bridging ligands chelating ligands ambidentate ligands so this third class we are going to classify based on the linkage atom linkage atom so such things are called it as ambidentate ambidentate which will attack from both the sides ambidentate ligands we'll be seeing certain examples there are certain things which form bridges they are called it as chelating ligands board may ask you from any part of this particular thing they may ask you any example or they may give you a complex and ask you to find out which type of um, this one uh, like uh, uh, ligand is that so we will learn let us come back and learn the different classes of ligands